Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys what is new with Memojis on iOS 15. I do this video every year, so I just went through and looked at some changes that they brought to Memojis and how to edit your Memojis. So I just compared a phone with iOS 14 and my phone which now has the iOS 15 public beta on it. I do have a video on how to get that public beta. I'll have that in the eye up top for you guys to go check out if you're interested um, in seeing how you can get iOS 15 beta for yourself. But um, there is a warning just that it is a beta, there can be bugs and glitches, so just be advised. But um, yeah, let's just get into this now. What is new with Memojis on iOS 15? So the first thing that I want to point out is the new stickers you get, the new Memoji stickers. So you have Memojis and you have Animojis. So Memojis is the stickers that everyone gets, everyone with an iPhone can have Memojis. And Animoji is where you can have the Memoji follow your facial expressions and everything and send a video with it that's only available for iPhones with the face ID because the sensors in that camera enables them to be able to actually mimic your facial expressions and things like that so yeah we have Memoji here I have two Memojis that look exactly the same because I had to make one on my iPad because with the beta it makes something up But just ignore the fact that I have two identical Memojis But the new stickers you get with Memojis this year on iOS 15 You have this first row here, which is just like one that looks like this one with a heart and one with a wave um, And then also some new ones are here So you have one with an idea some clouds and then one who's blowing her nose or his nose whatever um, so yeah we have that here as well and then lastly we have this set of emojis here so this one looks like it's kind of scheming this one is looks like it's doing some kind of meditation or something and this one is nervous and chewing their nails so these are really cool they have way more like i feel like they have way more intense expressions on their faces you can clearly see the emotion they're trying to portray throughout um, so yeah, that is all the new Memoji stickers that came, but now let's actually look at when you customize your Memoji, what looks actually new. So I'm just going to go to my Memoji sticker, click on these three dots and select edit. And then we have here skin. So this is the first one I'm going to be going through. So here you'll see nothing changed. So there's no new skin tones, no new nothing. But when we go to hair cells here, there aren't any new hair cells, but there are new interfaces so i'll put a screenshot of what it looks like previously and what it looks like now so it's way more complicated to actually know how to get a highlight on your hair with memoji i do have a whole video on how to get highlights on your memoji um, on ivis 14 so the previous version but um this one you just have to go here to add highlights and then you can easily choose your highlight that you want i'm just going to choose a color quickly so you can choose which color you want your highlights to be and then you can also choose what type of highlight you want. Um, the gradient is probably the best looking one of all of them but that's just so you guys can clearly see now you have the ability to add highlights. Like I said it was a bit more complicated in iOS 14, I have a video on that. So yeah, there are a few things like this, this kind of interface that they did change so it's easier to see where you can add other types of colors and things like that. Um, really nice. Then brows is nothing new. Eyes has a thing where you can now add second here. Um, so you can click on add second and then you can change the color of the other eye, your right eye or whatever, um, to a different color. I don't have two different colored eyes, but yeah, if you do, you have the ability to now change that and it's really nice and clearly stated like where you can add another color. There's nothing new with head, but in the nose section, when you scroll all the way down, you now have the option for oxygen tube. So if I tap on oxygen tube, this is what it's gonna look like. So this is really nice that it includes people who wear oxygen tubes. Now they can actually have it on the emoji if they want to. It's just nice inclusive. So um, you do have that option now in the nose category way at the bottom. Okay, so mouth also nothing new or different, ears also nothing new, but facial hair, you can actually now add highlights to facial hair. So I'm just going to choose a nice beard to go here. And then when you go to highlights, you can now add highlights to your beard. So it can either be a gradient or classic, whatever that means. Um, so yeah, you can now have highlights for your facial hair if you have facial hair, which I do not. 
Uh, eyewear also did get a little update. So here at the top, you'll see you have the option to tint the color of your lenses. So if you have your glasses, you choose the frame, the color of the frames. And then when you go to lenses, you can choose the color of your lenses. So here you can see, you can make them darker or just what, like any color you really want. Um, so that's really nice. You can now change the color of the lenses as well. You also now have a few different glasses, um, not like a major. Um, you just have this row, this row and this row that is new. So these have star shaped glasses with um, so different thicknesses of like, what's it called, frames. Um, then we have different hard ones. And then this one here is just like on the nose, I guess. Um, so those are the only new glasses, not like a major, but it is there if you're interested. And now when we get to head care here, the only thing that they really changed about this is you can now change the color of the secondary and third color. So um, you can have your main color, then your second, you can make any color, just it automatically shows you what it'll look like on different hats and things like that. And then the third color you can also change. Um, so you just have to change that according to whatever you want. But um, I don't usually put headgear on my Mumoji, so I'm not really gonna be using that, but you do now have the option to change the color of your headgear if you're interested in doing that. And then lastly, we have clothing here, which you didn't previously have. So now you can choose which clothes you want your Mumoji to wear as well as the color. So this also like the headgear has a main color, a secondary color and tertiary color um, that you can change. I guess let's just go to according to what I'm wearing right now. So I'm gonna keep the sweatshirt and then just gonna change the main color to a reddish. Oh, this is, this, these colors are not nice. Um, I'm just gonna go with blue, I think. Yeah. And then secondary color, you can choose whatever you want. Um, and then you can also see a preview of what it will look like on your Mimoji stickers, as you can see here. So that's also really nice. So you now have that clothing option and the colors of your clothing that you can change. The clothes that they do have here, I'm not like the biggest fan of. It's not the most flattering clothes. I don't really know. But like, it's nice they have a whole diverse set of clothes. So really, any type of race or style really is here. But I just feel like they could have added a bit more, like maybe just like a plain tank top or something. I don't know. But you have clothing now, which is really nice because it was, you always had just like that one thing in one color. So that's it. That's basically all that's new with Mimojis this year. There's not much changes just because it's already so inclusive and huge. I don't think there's gonna be everybody able to make any big improvements still. But I'm glad that they did give us an update. It's always nice to see an update from Emoji and just have more things come in. That's all that's new. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if um, you like Mimoji and if you even use Mimojis on your iPhone. I'll have a whole playlist of all the Mimoji videos that I've made in the past in the eye up top for you guys to go check out so you can just see everything and anything on Mimoji. Um, and definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other iOS 15 related videos and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.